So I'm going to go over the menus um, on the AirSense 11. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you kind of the expanded menu. Um, a lot of, I've had a lot of questions where um, patients will tell me, you know, I have access, I can see the AHI number, which is how many respiratory events you have. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I can't see it on my machine, but my husband can see it. Um, and so what we're looking at is this, the expanded menu. So you'd have to have your clinician or whoever you got your CPAP through give you that expanded menu. Um, and it's just in the clinical menu that you can, you can unlock that. Um, but I'm going to show you the, the menus. And this is, again, in the expanded version of, the, of the, the patient menus here. You have a couple of things on here. Um, if you touch more, you've got a few different things here. You've got your, your warm-up. Um, if you touch the warm-up button, it's going to start warming the humidifier um, before you actually put your mask on. The advantage of it is the first little bit of therapy is a lot more warm and humid. Now, this will go for about 20 minutes. If, if you don't hit start at that point, it will go through a cool down menu. I use this function. I don't use it every night, but I do use it if I'm ever sick, congested, allergies, anything like that. It just helps open your sinuses up a little bit faster. Um, next part on here is the mask fit. The mask fit function. The advantage of the mask fit function is a lot of times in auto set function, and, and I'm gonna grab numbers here. Let's say your doctor sets you from a five to a 20. When you start your machine, it's starting on a five, but as you fall asleep, your airway starts to close and then that pressure builds. Let's say it goes up to a 20. Well, now your mask's leaking because you fell asleep on it, adjusted the, and the mask was adjusted to a five. So the mask fit function, the, the nice thing about it is it gives you a blast at your full pressure. So you can snug that mask down. Um, so when I'm setting patients up, I'll usually tell them to use that for the first two or three weeks so they can get a, an idea of how snug they need that mask. So under your mask fit function, when you touch it, it's going to pull up and it's going to tell you to put your mask on here. It's going to kind of walk you through these steps. You're going to hit start on that. It's gonna give you this blast. It's probably, if you're on an auto set, that blast of pressure is gonna be a lot higher than what you're used to, but this is so you can tighten the mask down and have it so it doesn't start to leak when you fall asleep. It's gonna tell you if your mask is, is sealing, but most likely you'll feel it if it's leaking. I'm gonna move my thumb off of the tube here. You can hear that leaking, it's a lot louder. And then it, a little, um, warning icon pops up if the mask is leaking. But again, the advantage of this is we're doing this at your highest pressure. If I hit stop, then it goes back. And then at that point, you'd hit your, your start therapy button with your mask adjusted at full pressure. Next piece down is um, your My Air app. And this walks you through the My Air app. Um, and it, it will kind of walk you through. You have the option to say no thanks or okay, uh, download, uh, download it, and then it will walk you through um, getting that app. And I, I will show you kind of how to, uh, what that app looks like. And it will walk you through connecting to that app. Um, next piece here, I'm going to hit no thanks, but that's most everything and more. You do also have some other things on here that, that uh, for most patients aren't gonna be super helpful, but you have airplane mode. Um, essentially what airplane mode does is it shuts the modem down. Um, so it's not calling out every day. You have a device diagnostic daily. Um, basically what will happen on the device diagnostic is your machine will run a quick diagnostic. It, it shoots some puffs out. It's making sure everything's running, but it gets back to your, your uh, DME company that your machine is working correctly. I usually leave it on a default of daily, but you can change it to um, off or you know every couple weeks. Um, humidifier enabled if you're using the humidification, um, climate line enabled, and then you have about, and there's some different things that you can kind of see on here. But uh, again, not, not a lot in there for most patients. I'm going to go back to the home menu here, and that was in the more menu. Um, under my options, 
You've got your ramp time. In this case, the ramp time set to 10 minutes, and that's gonna start at a lower pressure. In this case, the machine is set from eight to 16 in auto set, but you could put uh, the ramp pressure to six and then have it gradually work up to the eight over 10 minutes. Pressure relief is either on or off. Um, in a lot of these, if they don't show up, it's because it's not in your clinic. Your clinician hasn't set that to show up. So the, again, this is in the expanded menu. Um, climate control, um, and then tube temperature. And you can adjust those here by just touching them. I'll go over those in, in another video and explain you know, why each is important and how to adjust those. But in here, you're basically just touching them and then um, choosing what you would want on there. Um, smart start, if you touch that, essentially what smart start is, is when you breathe into the mask, it's designed to start up. Some of the downsides of smart start is, you know, if you unplug your tube, the machine will sometimes think that it has, you know, it's, you breathe, you're breathing into it and it will start up when it shouldn't. Um, same thing with smart stop. Smart start is if you pull your mask off, the machine shuts off. So you can make it completely automated. You put your mask on, it's gonna start up. You take your mask off, it's gonna shut off. But sometimes it is a little sensitive on, on the way that goes. And that's your, your My Options menu. You'll notice every time that I'm getting in and out of these menu, I'm touching the top uh, left-hand side on the, the home there, and it gets us back out to the home. Under my sleep view, you have three things to look at here. You've got your usage, and of course this hasn't been used, so no usage there. Your events, this is your AHI. This is how many times you stop breathing an hour, and you can see that every, every morning. And then you have your mask fit. If you slide down, you have a more detailed version of, of what that looks like and gives you some numbers there, but this is kind of the quick shot there. And that's the menus on the AirSense 11. I'll be going into some uh, separate things on some different videos.